Hello everybody, Dan Babis here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. Right guys, so let's get into it. Today we have a story for you about Ariella Weinberg and her Ethiopian man, Biniam Shibre. And if you guys tune into the season of 90 Day Fiance Season 9, well, Biniam and Ari were kind of absent for the first few episodes. I think that they made their intro on episode 3. Three. Now, what we're seeing on the season with uh, Ari and Binny, we're seeing a bit of a continuation uh, from their previous season that they were on the show, right? So, in the previous season, we saw, well, Ariella had to, to go back to the U.S. because she had to get a, a, a surgery for Avi. She didn't want to get it in Ethiopia. So, she went to the U.S., got the surgery, and that led to a whole bunch of problems between her and Biniam. Because Ariella thought that Biniam uh, was cheating on her back in Ethiopia, and it led to a, a bunch of problems. When Ariella finally went back to Africa, she told Benny that no way, Jose, she is not going back to Ethiopia. She is done. And so I think that they went and met in Kenya, if I'm not mistaken. And so they stayed in Kenya. But what was interesting about that whole thing was that Ariella brought her mom. She brought her mom to Kenya with her. And the reason for that was because she had to question um, Biniam on whether or not he was cheating. And Ariella needed her mom to confront Binny and to find out if, uh, because Binny, of course, denied any cheating. Uh, and so uh, Ariella wanted her mom to confront Binny and find out if he was or not cheating uh, on her, which her mom did. And uh, Binny said that, no, he didn't. Her mom believed it, and then she told Ari, and Ari believed it as well. So I'll tell you guys why that's interesting. Uh, it has to do with the piece today. So we're going to circle back on that topic. So let's take a look at this piece today right here. And uh, this is basically what happens on this week's episode on 90 Day Fiance with um, Ari and Benny. And so, um, you know, uh, the previous episode, or uh, maybe it was the, the episode before, we got to see Ariella get splashed in the face with wine, get drenched fully with wine. So uh, that was really, I think, the most iconic scene so far. So we'll get back to, to what happened there because um, there is some conflicting information about what truly happened or what was the real reason. So we'll get back to that in a little bit. Let's take a look at this piece right here first. So uh, Ariella and Biniam get a harsh uh, get a harsh reality check in the u.s exclusive so uh this is no longer exclusive but it was it was posted two days ago by the way if you guys came on the channel about two days ago i did this video two days ago and sadly there was no sound so i have to redo the whole thing today but uh you know that's life that's how it goes sometimes so the reality of life in america is hitting ari and Benny hard in this exclusive clip from this sunday's new episode of 90 day fiance in this clip, Ari and Benny arrive at their new apartment in New York that her parents got for them, but are surprised when they hear that they're going to have to start paying the bills sooner rather than later. Ari and Benny and their son Avi move from Ethiopia, Biniam's home country, which wasn't without drama. Although Benny is excited to be in America, real life hits them when Ariella's mom, Janice, says that they need to talk about when Ariella and Biniam will start taking care of their monthly expenses. She says that she expects them to start paying within two to three months. You have to work out a plan for your own sustainability to lead a life you want to lead. Her dad says, we definitely want to help you. Now, Ariella says that uh, if it were up to her, she would have chosen a cheaper apartment. So she's throwing some shade towards her parents, even though she's not even paying for the first few months of the apartment or then by the sounds of it, then partake in actually researching uh, and booking the apartment and all of that stuff. We'll get back to that in a bit, uh, uh, even though this uh, apartment is extremely close to her parents. This is a big stress on us right away. Getting the two bedroom, the expensive apartment, the expensive place, and with the expensive cable and everything, and then telling us, oh, by the way, you have to pay for all of it, so get a job real fast, she tells her parents. I mean, we have no idea what the future holds. She tells cameras that while she's grateful to her parents for covering the apartment's initial cost, 
and the first month's rent, she doesn't feel that it's realistic for her and Benny to start paying for it right away. Benny also can't work for the first 90 days in America. By the way, uh, in the clip, her mom Janice says, within two to three months, she sounds flexible, though, on the timeline, right? So it sounds like Benny will get a chance to find himself a job uh, before paying for it, perhaps. Benny and I have only a few thousand dollars to last us in the U.S., she notes. The immigration process is expensive, and you know, we moved countries. It's day one, and we already have to face this financial stress. Biddy and I had the expectation, get this, this is where it gets interesting, that when we get to America, everything would be different and new and exciting, and it would be a chance to work on our relationships, spend time as a family, and start over again. She continues. But I think neither of us really know long term how we're going to provide for the family. And it's really scary. Like, what if this doesn't work out? So there you have it, guys. Now, I'm going to tell you guys what I think. So you guys process this information and let me know what you make of this whole thing. So let's get into it. And by the way, there's going to be another part to this video. So stay tuned. That has to do with the wine throwing business. And what was the real reason for that? So. If you guys watch the clip or when you'll watch the episode tonight or whenever you watch it, I feel like the words, when you put them on paper, when we read this article together, they sound, they don't sound that bad. But when you watch the clip, Ariel is throwing a tantrum, in my opinion. She is coming off entitled. She's coming off like she is pretentious. She's, she's just not coming off very good. And... You know, I've never been her biggest fan, to be honest with you guys. And this is the reason. She just she comes off like she's entitled, like she's been babied her whole life. And, <clears throat> excuse me, but like I said, when... I don't know that Ariella can really make decisions for herself, and I don't know that she can really take care of herself. She's whining about here about coming back to the U.S. and not being given the, you know, freedom... To kind of just focus on her relationship, but she's complained that she's going to have to take care of financials. Well, newsflash, that's the reality for every person in the world. You don't just get to take time off to work on your relationship, not have to deal with the financial financial burden, just because you still have to, you know, adult, like 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 a grown person. Ariella is 31 years old and she's acting like she's entitled to her parents taking care of her paying for her apartment because damn it she should just be able to focus on her relationship with Benny to make sure that it works I don't think that's how it works Harry so uh, I have a bit of an issue with that like I said when they went back to Kenya Harry brought her mom there because she needed her mom to question her because don't forget Harry did talk to Benny Benny denied cheating but Ari was still skeptic, s skeptical <laughs> until her mom told her that, no, 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 I think that he is being truthful. So she needed her mom to kind of even baby her into this big life decision or this, this big choice that she was making at the time, which was to kind of get back with Benny because she was kind of having second thoughts. And she was kind of thinking of doing what the first wife, uh, Benny's wife, did, which was to take his son and just basically go to the U.S. Uh, and, you know, Benny has not really heard from her ever since which by the way might be a story arch on the season although we don't have a lot of information about that now so to me you know she's saying that oh we don't have enough time uh you know to to get everything straight uh to me it sounded more like she was more upset that her parents wouldn't cover more time of uh, her and Benny's uh, apartment and bills and everything. Don't forget, they set up not just the apartment, they set up the cable, they set everything up for them. They did all the work so that everything was ready when Benny and Ari walked in. They didn't have to worry about a single thing. They did all of the legwork and Benny is still complaining about this thing, like all the horror that maybe in two, three months or at some point later, we're going to have to take care and fend for ourselves. Ah, uh, I don't know, guys. You guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below, guys. You know, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. This is what I think. I think she's being a brat. She's being entitled. She's being immature. They need to get their stuff together. They need to have their work set up. 
you don't just come back to the U.S. without having any kind of work or anything like that. She's 31 years old. It's time that you get your stuff together. My opinion. You guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. I did want to um, touch on something else right here, guys. So we have a few more pieces to uh, this video today. So because of uh, Ari's kind of bratty and entitled attitude when it comes to financials and how her parents should be taking care of her, it's kind of, you know, created a bit of a discussion about how does Ari really afford her facial procedures? Because Ari's look has changed drastically since she first came on the show. She's clearly got a lot of work done. So this is what Screen Rant says right here. Um, <clears throat> so um, some fans on Reddit were asking, uh, there's nothing wrong with taking a job that you feel you're overqualified for. Uh, prior to moving to Ethiopia, Ariella was working part-time at her dad's cardiology practice and was a freelance writer. Um, and when it comes to Ariella's cosmetic procedures, it's likely she got them in barter for collaborating with the estheticians for social media posts or stories. But apart from that, being a reality TV star is a job and Ariella is indeed earning well enough from showcasing her relationship troubles with Benny on TLC. There's also Cameo and other brand partnerships that Ariella has seen promoting on Instagram. Recently, she's become a partner in an Ethiopian tour company called Simon Land Tours. However, Ariella has been accused of making her parents fund her adventurous lifestyle. It seems that her parents, too, were okay with bankrolling Ari and Benny until this particular episode of 90 Day Fiancé. And uh, Benny's also starting a career as uh, an MMA fighter an online fitness, uh, fitness trainer. So that's uh, that's really what he wants to do. So when it comes to the um, procedures, you know, according to screen, we don't know this for sure, guys, but this is usually how it works. Ariella is an influencer, you know, just because she was on the show. And so some brands, just like Angela Deem and some other people, some brands or some companies or, or some, um, you, you know, places that do uh, cos cosmetic procedures might approach them these people and say you know what we'll give you a surgery for free or at a reduced rate in return you have to promote us on social media the thing about that is i'm not sure if i've seen ariella promote many of these things on social May maybe she did and i missed it but i don't know if she she really did uh she's clearly had some work done she looks very different uh and it's not always free so you still have to kind of provide some money for that so you guys let me know what you think about that. But clearly, perhaps her priorities might not be where they should be. She might have had more money and might have spent it on herself, you know, because she wanted to enhance her looks. And now, oh, woe is me. I don't know if I have enough money to support us in the U.S. when I had to kind of do all these things for myself in the past. You guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. We're going to move on because, like I said, we have a bunch of things we want to get through today. Here's the next one. So, you know, this has been the hot topic this season, and I'm just going to remove myself right here. It's, you know, when um, Benny's sister, I, w was it Mimi or was it Wish? I guess it was Mimi. I, I could be wrong, though. But one of his sisters, um, you know, threw wine in Ari's face, right? And the way that the whole scene kind of unfolded, it made it seem like um, the only reason why that happened was because Biniam kind of held a secret that he was going to the USA with Ari from his sisters. They were very upset. And then Ari, uh, you know, said, like, she's not marrying the sister. She's just marrying Benny. And then the sisters just blew up, really. They, they blew up and threw wine in her face. However, this is what they say. So um, his sister Mimi um, says that um, the reason why this whole thing happened is because Ari... At some point, which I don't know, but at some point, asked her to sell her eggs and join OnlyFans. I also heard that uh, some other people say that Ari um, asked her to sell her eggs to to her nanny. And, you know, I, I don't know. At first, I was, you know, when I saw the whole wine scene, like I said, I'm not Ari's biggest fan. I kind of felt a bit of sympathy because it's not really fun to have that happen to you uh it sucks really and it's kind of embarrassing on tv uh but you know like i said i haven't been really Ari's biggest fan so but i could sympathize with her in that moment however perhaps there is more to the story than we know because 
it didn't really feel like there was enough there for the sisters to blow up and throw wine in her face just because Benny didn't tell his sisters beforehand. And, you know, that, that whole situation, I there was a disconnect there. So perhaps this is true. Perhaps this is just the sisters kind of trying to do damage control because they've gotten some hate uh, in, you know, in the recent days or, or weeks. Or perhaps there is some truth to this that Ariel said something nasty, something snippy to them. And that was the moment well, when all of this kind of like, you know, pent up anger, uh, you know, and disdain for her just kind of blew up and it, it uh, resulted in the wine throw. So this is what they say is the real reason for why that wine throw uh, actually happened. That's what they say. So um, there you have it. Some people are saying that, oh, maybe they're boring and this is the way uh, for them to kind of try to amp up some drama and things of that nature. Now, uh, I did want to show you guys uh, this because <laughs> there's a funny Reddit thread um, going on, uh, which says, uh, what's the synonym for entitled? All right, Ari. And you can see some screenshots here of, you know, kind of like her just throwing a bit of a hissy fit because she, uh, you know, is being told that she has to kind of take care of herself as a 31 year old woman and then you you have i just wanted to kind of read you guys some of the comments here because i thought some of them are interesting i love how she thinks that working on their relationship is more important than actual work and providing for a child and then someone says well you know you could be doing both because that's what everybody else does right you have no choice as a 30 something year old person you gotta if you have kids you still gotta go to work that's just the way that it goes right it's called being an adult being a grown-up and yet Ari uh, needed a nanny when she was in Africa to braid her hair. Ari is the person personification of an entitled young woman from Jersey. I think she wanted to be the standout rebel of the children and go abroad. It was obviously on her parents dying, but they allowed her probably to let Ari experience life. What really happened is she had a one nighter with Binyam and her parents enable her throughout her pregnancy and support her, both of her and her fiance plus their child together. I would say that kind of um, fits in line with what I kind of think happened here too. And then this other person says, I work on my relationship, parent by myself, work full time, and deal with two exes that constantly want to start fights about the kids with me. She can work. She's just effing lazy and entitled. So that's what people are saying, guys. So you guys let me know what you think. Uh, I think she's entitled, uh, probably lazy. I think... More than anything is I think some of the people kind of, uh, you know, hit the nail on the head here that she's been enabled for most of her life. She doesn't seem like she's ever really had a real job because she's working for her dad. Uh, it doesn't seem like she's very independent. I'm not sure she's capable of, as you saw with her mom needing to come and just tell her whether or not, you know, she should be with Benny or not. Uh, she always needs somebody else to kind of, you know, take care of life decisions for her. Um, so my opinion you guys let me know what you think guys in the comment section down below i think this is going to do it for this video today guys it's already long enough there will be more ari and benny stuff for sure in the coming days and coming weeks so you guys let me know what you think about this whole situation so i, I just wanted to get all this information out to you guys let me know what you think about ari what you think about benny um what you think about this whole situation with paying for the apartment let me know in the comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up. If you did, please hit that subscribe button down below for more content right here on Daily Soap Dish. And we will see you guys on the next one. Take care.